It's Halloween! Lightning strike! Crash! Monster! Rawr! And we are reviewing the best mask for Halloween, Satan's mask. Or at least, <laughs> the Lucifer mask. Translation? Let's find out and get it in the clamper. <laughs> We are testing all the masks here, folks. Okay, this is claiming to be a KF-94, but it's not. Satan, how could you? Let's let her rip. This is a PFE machine. Not even Satan himself can run away from... That's probably not true. I'm not going to say that. Uh, we're testing... We're doing the N95 test here uh, to see uh, if this mask, uh, Lucifer's mask, if it would protect you. Um, now... This is very interesting because they are claiming to be a KF-94, or are they? Not on the listing. So it looks like a KF-94. <laughs> this has got to be a lost in translation thing here. That's pretty funny. Let me look at the box and I'll show you what they're claiming on here. So it says KF-94 right on the box here. but. This, wow, this is crazy. That is Korean. So they're putting something in Korean there as well. All KF, the one thing I know about KF94 is that the 94 stands for 94% filtration, which is what this machine over here tests, and that it has to be made in Korea. But if you just go, whoop, 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 made in China, Shenzhen Guayan Industrial Co. Limited. So this is not a KF94. This is a fake KF94. Will it pass the standard? I don't know the center, but they're really going deep on this. Look at this. 94. And I love that they have this piece in Korean when it's not made in Korea. I wonder if this is like a Chinese manufacturer trying to sell to Korea. Let's check it out. KF94 masks are traditionally really good. Oh, yeah. There you go. That construction is not great. They are individually packaging it too. But look, they're doing like this really crappy packaging. Like, the Korean packaging is, like, mind-blowing. Each one is, like, a barrier bag. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's really crappy. I think that would even break on your face. A bit. So when they're I like individual packaging, but when I'm trying to tear these masks apart, it makes it, it, makes it very time-consuming. All right, let's put it on the old face here. I think this is exactly like another one that we tested. Wow, this mask smells like a bunch of Chinese surgical masks bought on Amazon that were set on fire. That is really, that's really bad. This is the worst smelling KF9, KF94 that I've ever seen. You give it enough time, like Chinese manufacturers, which I guess it's been like, you know, a couple of months, give enough time Chinese manufacturers will find out how to copy you and eventually they'll make a better product than you. That's what they kind of say in the world of physical things. So I think uh, this is, um, I think this is the, the Chinese manufacturers realizing that there's a market for KF94s and they're going after it. Um, the question is, like, the packaging is not good. You know, the ear loops are not good. Um, let me check the, uh... oh, that's horrible. <laughs> what? The welds are just out of control, horrible. That's the worst welded KF94 I've seen. Um, so they're, they're starting up. They're not quite there yet. Um, but the question is, did they put good fabric in it? Is it, is it going to protect you, right? Does Lucifer protect you? That's the question that we're all asking. It's like, yeah, you know, we can give and take and all that. But like, does Lucifer, does he protect me? Let's check out. Well, happy Halloween, folks. Lucifer does meet the KF94 standard. Barely, but it meets it 95.610, 95.610, and the breathability was ooh, 230. So Lucifer might protect you, but he's going to smother you at the same time. We want to see uh, breathability below 200 or 150 typically, although that's probably within the KN95 standard, or that's probably within the KF94 standard. I just don't know because I haven't had a chance to read it. Speaking of, if you happen to have a copy of the KF94 standard, please send it my way. I'd love to read it because that's the kind of stuff I get down on. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next test, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Every day, Halloween, Christmas, all the holidays. We'll, we'll see you there. Oprah's birthday, I'm there.